Courtney, uh, what, what do you make of this sort of, let's call it a sort of indifference uh, to what's been perhaps the best earning season ever? Yeah, I think essentially what you're seeing is the markets are pri pricing in the fact that these earnings were going to be great, but I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. It's actually pretty typical of a bull market to see you selling the news and the investors waiting to buy on a dip opportunity more so than just the news coming out. And it's really an opportunity to make sure that you are looking for bargains, which you pointed out are kind of a needle in a haystack here. But just to put this in perspective, um, over 85% of S&P 500 companies are trading above their 50-day moving average whereas less than 45% of the Russell 2000 is trading above those levels. There's still a lot of opportunities right. there. Just if you look small over large, you really can take advantage of that. Yeah, Courtney, we're definitely watching that 10-year, uh, you know, like a micro, you know, uh, with a microscope. Now, uh, I didn't see it really react to, to the uh, personal income and spending numbers out today, uh, but it, it is casting a shadow. What do you make of that? The, just, just how worried are we? Uh, about inflation with respect to this market, because we had the Fed meeting this week. Uh, Ch Ch Chairman Jay Powell, went, uh, he went all out. I mean, he did everything he could to try to convince everyone. He'll try his, but he will not hike rates. And yet, it's hard to think that maybe he he's, will be in control of this if this kind of if these numbers keep rolling out like that. Yeah, I completely agree with that. You're really already starting to see inflation data kind of picking up in things like commodities prices, which is very forward looking. So I don't think it's necessarily something we're, that we're out of the woods by any means. And it's so important that you have inflation hedges in your portfolio. And that means you own real assets with real profits. And think of companies that have the pricing power to pass along these inflation hedges to their consumers. So think of like Procter & Gamble as a good example. As their material costs are going up, they're passing that along eventually to their consumers, and you as a shareholder can take advantage of that. Just making sure that you own these real assets rather than some of these long-duration things like Bitcoin and SPACs that the you know, financial worlds are so excited about, but those are not going to benefit if inflation goes up. So it's just really important you make sure that right. you're properly positioned right now.